Huawei released their new supercharged technology, which has increased USB-based charging from 40 watts to 66 watts, and wireless charging from 30 watts to 55 watts. Since supercharged technology is proprietary to Huawei and only works between Huawei phones and chargers, Huawei uses special USB connector colors so that users can identify supercharged technology support. Given the big step up in charging performance improvement, perhaps it's time to look out for orange instead of purple. In this episode, we look more closely at the improvements Huawei has made to supercharged technology. These improvements keep Huawei as one of the leaders in the highly competitive China market for smartphone charging. In previous episodes, we looked at Xiaomi and Oppo charging, and this Huawei episode rounds out our series on China-based charging technologies. Like Xiaomi and Oppo, Huawei uses special USB-A to C cables and chargers to support its 66 watt supercharged technology. Supercharged technology at 66 watts goes from purple to an orange USB connector, and it claims a max 66 watts of charging. Again, this is only from Huawei, and we'll see how far it actually gets to support 66 watts. Let's first start with the Mate 40 Pro from Huawei, which supports the new 66 watt Huawei Supercharge protocol and we compare that with the Mate 30 Pro, which supported the previous generation 40 watt supercharge protocol. With the 66 watt charger, we can see that the USB power goes above 35 watts for the first 10 minutes, drops down to 30 watts for the next 10 minutes, and then proceeds to drop to about 20 watts and then below 15 watts while all delivering a very impressive amount of battery power charging to the phone. With the 40 watt charger, the battery power stays well within the 15 watt level. So with this much higher power charger, we can see that the Mate 40 Pro is able to reach a full 100% battery in about one hour while with the Mate 30 Pro, it takes more like roughly about 100 plus minutes to hit the same level of 100% battery charge, maybe closer to about 110 minutes. So clearly much superior charging performance with the 66 watt charger versus the 40 watt charger. Next, let's look at the temperature sensitivity for charging using the 66 watt charger with the Mate 40 Pro. On the right, we keep the same setup that we had before where a fan was involved to remove the excess heat. And on the left, we remove the fan and see how well the phone charges at a higher temperature. You can see that with a fan involved in the setup, the USB power and the battery power is higher initially for the first 20 minutes versus the setup without a fan. But generally speaking, over a longer period of time, we can see that there's pretty similar charging performance and charging times for both these cases. And we can see clearly that even with a fan in the setup to reduce the temperature, that doesn't have that much impact on the overall charging rate. In addition to Huawei's own 66 watt supercharged protocol, the Mate 40 Pro also supports the more standard USB power delivery. 
Here we use a 65 watt USB power delivery adapter, but you can see here that clearly the Mate 40 Pro has a preference to charge faster with its own technology with the standardized 65 watt USB power delivery charger. It is only charging at a max of 14 watts and that results in much slower charging time overall versus Huawei's own 66 watt charger. So if we take a look at how long it charges to 100% with USB power delivery, it takes close to about 105 minutes to fully charge versus about 60 minutes to fully charge with its own 66 watt charger. So which is faster, Huawei's Mate 40 Pro and the 66 watt charger or the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra and its 120 watt quick charge 5 charger. Both charges represent the fastest charging technologies available from Huawei and Xiaomi. We can see that with the Mi 10 Ultra and the 120 watt charger, there is a quick burst of USB power drawn, but most of the initial charging is done at a 25 to 20 watt level which is very similar to what we see here with the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Over time, there is similar levels of performance in charging, but we do see that the Mi 10 Ultra is able to achieve 100% battery quicker than the Mate 40 Pro. The Mi 10 Ultra with Quick Charge 5, 120 watts achieves full battery in close to about 45 minutes, close which compares to 55 minutes with the 66 watt charger from Huawei. Let's switch gears now to wireless charging. We will look at this 50 watt wireless supercharge stand that comes from Huawei. You can see here it has a built-in fan to remove excess heat while charging. It also uses the same 66 watt charger for powering the stand. This has limited Huawei phone compatibility. So here we'll use the same Huawei Mate 40 to look at how fast it can charge with this charging stand. This 50 watt Huawei supercharge wireless charging stand is so much better than the previous generation, which was a 27 watt Huawei wireless charging pad. This pad worked with the Mate 30 Pro, which we'll compare here with the Mate 40 Pro, and we'll use room temperature with a fan to get the fastest charging so we can remove the excess heat and not slow things down. We can see that with the Mate 40 Pro and the 50 watt wireless charging stand, the battery power that is used to charge the battery inside the Mate 40 Pro is very high. Initially, it is close to about a 33 watt type range and then goes down to closer to about 20 watts and vacillates back and forth. Overall, this is very fast charging levels for wireless charging. Compare this to the Mate 30 Pro and the 27 watt wireless charging pad, the battery power is consistently under about eight watts. So this really results in a overall charging speed that is dramatically faster compared to before. And with the Mate 40 Pro and the 50 watt wireless charging stand, it achieves 100% battery in about an hour, which is again, pretty impressive and much faster than the previous generation. Let's again check the temperature sensitivity of the Mate 40 Pro with the 50 watt wireless charging stand. On the right, we have the case that we had before where a fan is used to remove the excess heat. And on the left, we remove the fan. In both cases, the power goes up very high initially. You can see that the battery power in both cases initially gets to about 33 watts of charging and with a fan it's able to bring the temperature down somewhat and it's able to go up again for a brief period of time but during this 
charging, you can see that just overall there is still a lot of heat generated despite the fan. So most of the time, even with a fan, the battery power that is used to charge the battery is mostly around a 20 watt level. Without the fan, it stays close to a 20 watt level, but it has to drop pretty frequently to about 10 watts. But still, with the fan versus without the fan, there is similar levels of charging uh, performance. With a fan, we hit full battery charge in about 60 minutes. And without the fan, it's a little bit longer, closer to about 65 minutes, but pretty similar in terms of overall charging speed. The Mate 40 Pro is also able to work with standard chargers like this 15 watt Qi EPP charging pad, but you can see that the charging levels are so much lower compared to what the Mate 40 Pro can do with its own 50 watt wireless charging stand. The power level on the battery side is only about two watts or so with the 15 watt TEBP versus these much higher levels. And as a result, the charging performance is very slow with this 15 watt TEBP pad. We speed things up. You can see that it only gets to full 100% charging after about 400 minutes compared to close to about 65 minutes with its own 50 watt wireless charging stand. Clearly the Mate 40 Pro and Huawei in general prefers its own proprietary wireless charging technologies versus using industry standard ones. Let's do another head-to-head -head comparison between Huawei and Xiaomi, again with the Mi 10 Ultra, but this time with the 55 watt wireless charging stand from Xiaomi which similar to the Mate 40 Pro, this stand is proprietary to the Mi 10 Ultra phone. And if we look at the max battery power being used to charge the phone while charging with the Mi 10 Ultra, a lot of the charging power hovers around a 22, 23 watt level initially, but with the Mate 40 Pro and its 50 watt wireless charging stand. Initially, the battery power is really juiced up to about 33 watts, and this results in much faster initial charging for the Mate 40 Pro and its 50 watt wireless charger. But over time, things slow down. You can see that the battery power hovers between 10 to 20 watts for a long period of time. This is much lower than what we see with Xiaomi. So over time, the Mi 10 Ultra actually gets to 100% battery faster in almost 60 minutes, while the Mate 40 Pro and its 50 watt wireless charging stand hits full battery after about 65 minutes. We hope you enjoyed this episode on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro and the new version of supercharged technology. Again, that supports 66 watts max of USB versus 650 watts max of wireless charging power. Both of these levels are pretty impressive. Uh, this completes our short series on China-based charging technology, starting from Xiaomi down to Oppo and finishing up with Huawei. Next, we'll compare these charging technologies from China with what we see from other global brands. To stay up to date on our latest testing analysis, be sure to subscribe here. Also, you can go to www.gtrust.com to see all our in-depth analysis and benchmarking data. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in a future episode.